Hey guys, it's Brad. Got another product review video for you today, but first, thumbnail shot. <laughs> no, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave us a comment below. So, I ordered some Gorilla Jaw barbell clamps from um, Amazon, where I get everything, right? Uh, you may have seen these in a lot of my videos. This is like the absolute cheapest barbell clamp you can get. And for 90% of people, 85% of people, they're fine. But if you notice, um, when I drop the weights, especially from overhead, uh, either uh, from the top of the snatch or the clean and jerk, um, I, have to, I have to fix the slop after every time. So these uh, only have two grips right here, and then just that. If you're just doing bench press, squat, deadlift, if you're deadlifting heavy, and, and you're, there's gonna be slop with this type. Um, I also have uh, the Croc Lock from, I don't know where I ordered these from. I don't remember if these were from Titan or Elite FTS. I think these were from Elite FTS. And um, these are cool because they're um, kind of, oh, they can open up a lot to get over an axle bar collar. Uh, it's like a fatter uh, collar or regular two inch Olympic size. And then you just kind of Velcro it down. These also work really well for squat and bench. Deadlift, there's gonna be some slop. Dropping these from overhead, not good. These won't break because this whole thing is rubber. Like this whole piece is rubber, so they're essentially indestructible, but even tightening it down as much as you can, these crock lock are still gonna cause slop. So I'm still looking for what is gonna be my go-to deadlift and Olympic weightlifting collar. So the next one we're trying are the Gorilla Jaw, and let's get a real thumbnail here. I like to scoot to a side a little bit so I can put whatever the price is over there. Oh man, that's gonna look good. <laughs> uh, Jill Baird, take notes. I'm kidding, she, she mentioned that before. So these are made of, these are still like high impact plastic and that has been a problem in the past with, I'm looking up and over at my bars with the lockjaw collars. I had um, the clip on the lockjaw collars break while deadlifting the, the plastic piece and then uh, it was like that 15 or $20 lockjaw collar and it's essentially useless now. I emailed Lockjaw multiple times over the past four months, five months, and got one response, still have not got replacement collars. Again, Lockjaw, gonna be fine for 85% of the people out there. It's fine for bench press, fine for squat, depending on what weight and how much the bar bends. Anyways, so we're gonna give these a shot. Uh, these are, like I said, the Gorilla Jaw. I got the black and red. It's, it's forged in the jungle. Um, I don't know that plastic, it, high impact plastic is forged, <laughs> but um, we'll, we'll give these a go, uh, put them through the tests and see how they do. All right, let's take off our shirt and lift. It does say built with durable, high impact plastic with exclusive ergonomic design for athlete safety during exercise. Dependable and tough, nylon lock, reinforced plastic, and stainless steel. So like, I'm sure there are some, yeah, there's like a pin in there that's stainless steel. And it looks like it has four gripping areas in there that you can see. And then one side is concave, it like goes in a little bit, and then this outside, if you can see, is convex. Convex, <laughs> wait, did I get those right? Convex, concave. Yeah, cave goes in, vex, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, 
Let's get this shirt off and lift. So it started to slide slowly on that one. Uh, no slide with uh, 245s, started to slide slowly, slowly with 345s, and I imagine we'll get some more slide with. Uh, and also, this is my Olympic bar. Uh, this is a right. And when I say Olympic bar, I specifically mean uh, the bar <clears throat> that's specifically for my Olympic lifts. This is a right um, next-gen bearing bar. And let's see what we got here. I mean, it's still some slow slide. A little bit faster than before. Uh, but it seems to be gripping pretty good. <sighs> Now I'm going to, actually, I should not do like a heavy deadlift or anything today. It's not in my programming. Um, but maybe I could do something to jiggle the weights a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I just uh, kind of give it one of these. I gotta say, that's a uh, very little slop. If that had been, I mean, that's from deadlift height. <clears throat> the bar is not wiggling back and forth. It's staying on there. If I had done that with either of these other two collars, I'd have a lot of slop after that. So that's as far as I'm gonna take the testing today. Um, I'll use this in future uh, clean and jerk videos, deadlift videos. Uh, and snatch videos. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I don't know if you can see me, but keep training, and I'll see you in the next video.